Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and this is the first of a series of gear reviews specifically for YouTubers. So this is, I'm continuing the helping YouTubers thing out that I started with my uh, five part series that I did uh, a couple weeks ago. The first one that I wanna do is these iView 1080p camera glasses, because these are the things that I get the most questions about. And I think they might actually serve some purpose for people that aren't YouTubers. So let's talk about that a little bit. I've had these since about a week or two before SHOT Show. And I've been using them a lot. So I like to think I've got enough hands-on time to actually formulate an opinion on them. I'll go over the tech specs here in a minute when we go inside. That way I'm not going off the top of my head and I'm accurate. But right off the top, they're very comfortable. They're lightweight. They work good. Don't expect these to be GoPros, okay? You're, you're working with cameras in a very small package. So you're not gonna get 4K, super audio, blah, blah, blah. But for what they are and what they give you, uh, I think they're probably the best thing out there right now. Just that, I haven't tested any other brands, but I've read a lot of reviews. Uh, and those reviews were instrumental in me choosing these in the first place. I've been extremely happy with them. Uh, they cost about 159 bucks. I've got, they take micro SD cards. I've got a 32 gigabyte class 10 micro SD card in here. They charge good. Uh, I haven't ran them all the way out yet. I use these for little bits and pieces here and there. As far as the field of view and stuff like that, it can be a little bit tricky as you've probably noticed in some of my videos if you're looking down trying to work with something with your hands, but I'll get better at that as time goes on. What these are gonna be great for is just walking around and looking at stuff uh, maybe when we do start doing the firearms videos and stuff like that, it's going to look good with that. Another thing that I think this would be great for as far as the YouTubers go, one of my biggest videos, or one of my earlier biggest videos, it's not the biggest video anymore, was this video called, uh, What Kind of Survival Items Can I Find at Lowe's? And that was like a spur of the moment, I didn't have time to do anything else video. You can't really go into stores with a video camera without drawing attention from security. They, they think you're like a spy from another store or something. You can get away with a lot more if you're using your phone, but still, when you're holding up your phone like this, it's obvious that you're filming. If you were going to do one of these, uh, let's go see what kind of things I can find in a store videos, these would be perfect. These would be perfect also just for sunglasses if you're not walking around a bunch of people and they're gonna be like, what are these big crazy glasses you got on? But having them as a camera of opportunity, maybe you get in a car accident, maybe you see something crazy happening, uh, may, you know, maybe you see a freaking UFO, I don't know, uh, but you need easy to film, an easy to film camera that's just recording everything that you see. So these things are awesome, I love these these things. I got two sets of them for Haley and Anton uh, from the Silent Hero Foundation for use in Africa when they start doing uh, their Prepared Mind 101 videos for me. So this is going to be very handy for Anton uh, being that he is the, the leader of the special interdiction unit that goes out and fights poachers and records and documents poaching sites and stuff like that because they need cameras. That way he's he probably wearing sunglasses anyway. He always has a video camera on him. Uh, if the other camera fails, runs out of batteries or whatever, boom, back up, stuck to your face. Awesome. So let's go inside so I can give you all the specs and show you how it hooks up to the computer and all that and I'll give you the rest of the rundown. All right, looking at the camera glasses themselves, you got your lens right here. On the right hand side, this is your on off button. So if you want to start recording, you hold that down. Power light, record light. So that lets you know that you're recording. 
press it down, shuts it off. Now when they come out of the box, it's got a loud beeping noise, which you might have noticed in some of the SHOT Show videos where I was using them. You can turn that off by hooking it up to the computer, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then also on this side, this right here is your micro SD slot. Pop that. So I've got a Samsung Class 10 32 gig card in it. You can either put your videos on your computer by popping that out or you can use the included power slash data cable which is what I do and just plug it into the camera and then plug it into the USB port on your computer and it should pull up into your iPhoto or whatever you're using. The lenses do come out so you can swap between the clear or the sunglass lenses uh, without much problem. See if I can do it on camera or not. <laughs> that just literally blew past my head. It's hard to do stuff like this when you're trying to keep it in frame. There. See, it's really not that hard. The case that it comes with, nice padded case. Uh, does come with uh, lens cloth and a bag to hold it in and, and things like that, which I'm using for something else. But what I did is I hooked a Night Eyes locking binder on it and then one of these Night Eyes locking uh, accessory clips. So if I'm using it in the field or something like that, I can just hook that to my belt and I've got my glasses right there with me. You don't want to lose your glasses. It wasn't really meant to do that. And I don't, this is just a little piece of nylon webbing with stitching. So what I did is I reinforced all that stitching with some uh, Loctite super glue. But just be careful with that. Uh, that's just how I like to do it. So a little trick. But so far, these have held up really good. They've taken one good stomp in the snow. I put them on my uh, son when I took him sledding and of course they fell off his head and he was worried about yelling up to me about the sled ride and you hear, see it hit the snow and then he stepped on him. So I about freaked out but the, the glasses survived and they're still working just fine. So let's talk about the settings and the specs. Okay, using the iView glasses now to look at the website, quickly give you the specs. This is on the Horizon 1080p. There's also a Crossfire 720p, which uh, costs a little bit less. But the Horizon does 1080p or 720p HD video recording, a uh, frame rate of 30 frames per second or 60. It has a 135 degree wide angle lens and can take up to a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. Has a noise reduction microphone, which I've found sounds pretty decent in the house it's a little bit harder outside so a lot of times if I'm shooting outside I'm also gonna have one of my dedicated microphones running and I'll probably cross the video clips to get some better audio again uh, consider that everything is packed into a small set of glasses video stabilization high ISO better low light performance I don't know if I have some settings off in it or not, but I found the uh, it's not quite as bright when I import it into the computer. A lot of times I have to adjust the brightness in the editor, but that comes out looking uh, exactly as it should. So I'm not exactly sure why that is. could just be I'm not that familiar with it yet. Uh, 5 megapixel CMOS camera. Uh, Video format is H.264 MOV. Uh, all I know is when I plug it into my uh, MacBook, it immediately comes up and it's easy to edit. Uh, 16 by 9 ratio. Audio is stereo. It has a date and time stamp, which is optional. Comes with polarized lenses, but it also has the clear lenses, which I tend to use most of the time if I'm just using it for recording. Uh, also has some time lamps, time, time lapse recording options. 
pull this up here, let you see. Okay, here's a picture of everything that it came with. Uh, glasses, bags, some lens cloths, extra lenses. Uh, it does come with a memory card. I'm not exactly sure how much it was. I'm sure it wasn't any more than like 4 gigs. Uh, AC charger and the uh, data cable and the case. Comes in a pretty nice package. Everything about it seems like a, a really nice setup. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, it's a 135 degree wide angle lens. Weather resistant, which doesn't mean waterproof, but if you get rained on, it's not going to kill it. One touch recording, so basically you just got to touch the button to start and stop it. But overall, let's take a look at this crossfire real quick. Uh, the 720p one, which I do not have, I cannot speak to, is uh, about 50 bucks less, 109 so that might be an option for someone on a tighter budget. Uh, records while play it, plugged in, blah, blah, blah. This is 15 minutes of video per one gig. But, like I said, I do not have that one, so I can't really speak to it. These are the ones I have here. And, again, the website is iviewcamera.com if you want to take a look for yourself. Okay, so... First things first, before we get to the settings, I've already been using these today. So the first thing that's going to happen when I plug these into my computer is the power and the charge light is going to come on. Then it's going to pull it up in my computer so I can review the clips, uh, put them into my editor, do whatever I need to do with it. But what about the settings? So let's see if I can get in here. I'm going to go to Finder, Remote Disk. No, that's not it. So you go to Disk, which is going to be your glasses, and you're going to see uh, Setting Dot Text Document. Let's see if I can get in here on this. Yeah, I know. I'm sure there's a better, more professional way to do this, but. Oh well. Let me open this up a little bit. Okay. Sports DV version 1.1. You know, update. That's something if you're going to make changes here. Format. It's got all your different things. And the, the book that it comes with will show you what all those are. Uh, the quality, auto volume, light frequency, video switch, buzzer alert, I turn that off. Uh, and then you just, all you do is you go in and you change the numbers. And then you go update, yes, so why. And then once you unplug it and you start it again, it's going to be updated with whatever you changed. So that is how you get into the settings on these glasses. And, and change things. It's actually pretty simple. Now a word of warning about these glasses. If you're using them to interview somebody or something like that and you got the sunglasses lenses on, uh, especially if you're around like an attractive woman or something like that, uh, make sure they know what they are and why you have them on or you could find yourself in an awkward moment. From SHOT Show, I got the mother of all outtakes, uh, and it involved these glasses, and that's why you sometimes see them referred to as the creepy stalker glasses. Where that came from was day one at the Topps booth, when uh, Mike from Topps asked me to do a video with uh, Dr. Haley Adams from the Silent Heroes Foundation. And I'm like, sure, no problem. Well, I failed to inform her that I was going to get the second second camera angle using these. So I'm talking to her, uh, Nick's filming her, and I put on the glasses. And she doesn't know it. And she just turns around and looks at me, and I'm staring at her with these big crazy glasses, and you could just see her brain go, eh, what is going on? 
So I, <laughs> I had to come back after I reviewed that footage. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot put that on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I went back and we, we filmed it over again. And she thought it was funny because I told Anton about it. And Anton, of course, ratted me out in like five seconds. So we redid the video over, and this has been like the big joke between us ever since then. So if you want to see exactly how not to use these, watch this clip. Silentheroes.org. I'll put the link in the in the video, so I'll make it nice and easy. So yeah, that's pretty telling when you slow it down. And that's pretty much exactly what was going through my head in that moment. I was like, oh my God, I just, I just actually just did that. Crap. Uh, this is somebody I just met. So a little freaked out by that. But now you know you won't make that same mistake. Don't, don't be that guy. Don't buy these to be Mr. Creepy Stalker Glasses guy. But at least now... Haley has her own creepy stalker glasses, as does Anton, and you'll be seeing footage from those glasses uh, coming up probably in about a month or so uh, here on Prepared Mind 101. So, any good tool can be used for good or evil. Don't use these for evil, even though that wasn't intentional evil. You can see where you could find yourself in some sort of situation if you're being silly with these things. So... <laughs> there you go. Now, now you know. We had some fun at my expense. So there you go, guys. That is the iView 1080p camera glasses. I really like them. I'm going to continue to use them. You can find them at uh, their website, which is right there. And they also sell on Amazon. So I put them in the video creator section of Prepare My 101 for anybody that wants to get them on there. So at uh, 160 bucks for a good point of view camera. I think it's a heck of a deal. I'm really impressed with them. So there you go, see you next time. I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. PrepareMy101.com is the store. Facebook.com forward slash Prepare My 101 is the Facebook page. Meeting of the Prepare Minds is the Facebook group. Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. And I'll be back with some more videos here soon. So see you then.